Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today we will be looking at one way that you can move files from Blackboard to Google Classroom. So the easiest way to do it is that when you go to your class, you scroll down on the uh, left hand side menu and down here you have something called Cloud Drive. So I'm going to go to Cloud Drive and then I will go to this class. You also have the choices to go to all of your classes if you want to just download everything at once. But this is the uh, class that I'm going to look at right now. And I'm going to go into my Spanish 2 Honors class and it's going to take some time and look for the files. In here, I have every folder and every file that I've ever added to my Blackboard page. And I, I want to go ahead and take my PowerPoints and my documents down. So I'm going to click on that folder. Okay. And then I want to download the package. So what it's going to do, um, it's going to create a zip drive that is going to be put on my desktop with all the files for that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you will notice that it's going to start reading it. Uh, it's going to say, where do you want to save it? So I just want to make sure that I call it my PowerPoints. Um, I have already downloaded something else to show you. PowerPoint. So it's right there. And I'm going to put it on the desktop and I'm going to say save. So it's going to start saving it on my desktop. I will go to my desktop now. You'll notice that it's right here. If I open that folder, that zip folder, you will notice that inside of it, um, it has actually organized. I'm trying to show you. Inside the folder, there are every chapter, and in every chapter, you have all of the PowerPoints that I had on Blackboard. So now the next step is that um, these files are still on a zip drive. So what I will do is I will create a new folder. Okay. And I'm just going to call it uh, PowerPoints and Docs. Okay. And I will throw all of the files from that folder in here. So I have an easy access to them. And once they have been copied to that new folder, I can go to my Google Classroom, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I am in my Spanish to Honors uh, Google Classroom. I'm going to go to Classwork. Okay. I'm going to create and maybe I'm just creating an assignment if um, that's what I want to create right now. I'll call it PowerPoints Chapter 2. Remember, if you want to give it points, if there's something that you're going to grade, you can give it points. If you have a due date, you can do that too. Don't forget to assign it to a topic that you've created. I'm just going to put it on my first one, Fluency for Spanish, just to put it there. And now you will go to attach the file that you want to use from that big folder that you created. So I'm going to go to attach a file. I'm going to select files from my computer. Um, the folder um, I call the PowerPoints and Documents, it's right here. I'm going to open it and notice that everything is right there. So I'm going to go to Spanish 2, okay? And I want to attach my um, PowerPoints in this case. If you wanted to attach everything, you could do that too. Maybe you wanted to do the whole folder, but I'm just going to select those two files. They're going to come in here. I'm going to upload them. It's doing that right now. So the PowerPoints are right there. And I'm going to go ahead and assign. And it is that simple. You can select the whole folder. Or you can just take individual files. But now you will see that if I go to my um, Fluency for Spanish, I believe that's what I called it. Okay, my PowerPoints for Chapter 2 are right there. I'm just going to open it right now. And you can see them right there. If I wanted to open them, I can open it. So it is that easy to move files or entire folders from Blackboard into Google Classroom. If you have any questions or you need any help with this, please uh, contact any of your tech tosas. Thank you.